besides the built-in 5.1, 7.1, and 15.1 audio processor upgrade options for the GDC SR1000, you can also opt for the 16 and 24 channel DTSX decoder with IAB support, to feature DTSX immersive audio solutions. The SR1000's DTSX solution, supports SMPTE's immersive audio bitstream or IAB standard, delivering a single interoperable audio format for theatrical distribution. For more information on enabling these optional audio features on the SR1000, please get in touch with GDC. The following SR1000 configurations are available, depending on the audio features desired for your application. The SR1000 Extreme, offers 16-channel audio processing, with DTSX decoding and IAB playback capabilities, and can provide 16 channels of AES-3 audio output. The SR1000 Extreme 24, offers 16-channel audio processing, with DTSX decoding and IAB playback capabilities, and can provide 24 channels of AES-3 audio output. Since the SR1000 Extreme 24 provides up to 16 channels of audio processing, when utilizing more than 16 channels, an external audio processor capable of processing 24 channels needs to be used. In our previous video, we have explained the various audio processing settings, available within the audio tab. In this tutorial, we will discuss the additional configuration options available within the web UI, when the DTSX decoding and IAB playback capabilities are enabled on the SR1000. Click on the configuration tab, to access the configuration options for DTSX decoding and IAB playback. Then, click on the playback sub tab, and scroll down to the Immersive Audio Bitstream section. This section provides options to configure the SR1000, for IAB decoding. You can choose the IAB internal option from this drop-down. This option can be used to decode IAB content with up to 16 channels of audio, in case of the SR1000 Extreme, and up to 24 channels of audio, in case of the SR1000 Extreme 24, rendered internally by the SR1000. Once selected, you would need to set a valid IAB configuration file using this drop-down, prior to playback with IAB internal decoding. Please get in touch with GDC, for the IAB configuration file based on your auditorium design. You can upload the IAB configuration files to the server, by clicking the upload option, and selecting the corresponding configuration files from your computer. All the uploaded configuration files can be managed, using the manage option. A pop-up window will be shown. The manage configuration screen, will list all the IAB configuration files which have been uploaded to the server. You can use the search filter to find a particular configuration file. Additionally, you can select one or multiple files from the list, and then click the delete button to delete them from the server. You can also select the Dolby Atmos external option from this drop-down, to decode Atmos content via an external Dolby Atmos cinema processor, such as the CP850. Once this option is selected, you need to mention the IP addresses configured for the Dolby CP850 network interfaces, in the Atmos Data IP, and Atmos TLS IP fields. For more information on this, we would recommend that you refer to the GDC Technical Bulletin, which explains how to set up the SR1000 with the Dolby CP850, for Dolby Atmos playback. The DTSX decoding section, provides options to configure the SR1000, for DTSX internal decoding. Select the internal option from this drop-down. Once selected, 
you would need to set a valid MDA configuration file using this drop-down, prior to playback with DTSX internal decoding. You can upload the MDA configuration files to the server, by clicking the upload option, and selecting the corresponding configuration files from your computer. As seen in the IAB section, the manage option can be used to list all the MDA configuration files, and delete them from the server if needed. Any changes under the IAB or DTSX decoding sections, can be saved by clicking the save button on top. Alternatively, you can click on the discard button to discard all changes. This tutorial is now complete. Thank you for watching.